Hello everyone, have you ever had such a thing that it becomes uncomfortable to play as if something interferes you? It is quite possible that you want to change your crosshair but you don't know which one is better to put. In this video I will tell you which crosshairs are suitable for some situations better and for which worse. I will tell you about the important settings and also show you 10 best and most convenient in my opinion crosshairs, most of which are used by the best players in the world, so that you can always choose something for yourself. Crosshairs in Valorant are really some something separate. Here you have a Bakugan crosshair, glasses crosshair, or maybe you want a crosshair with a clown's face, or with an exclamation point, or suddenly you want to put yourself an Instagram icon instead of a crosshair. This is also possible. Flappy Bird, Among Us, Globe, Snowflake, Candy, in Valorant, you can really make almost any crosshair. And even a pussy crosshair can be made, but the main thing is not to abuse it, because for a serious game all these crosshairs are of course not suitable. Well, right now let's move on to the most important and useful crosshair settings. Since it became possible to simply insert the code, then you don't need to mess around with the settings. However, as for me, this function right there is quite useful. It will smoothly turn off the top strip for your crosshair when you spray too hard, after about 8-9 bullets. Accordingly, with this setting you will always see when you need to stop your spray, strafe and release a new, more accurate burst. Thanks to this setting you can abandon the dynamic crosshair while getting the same positive effect. The the next important setting is the crosshair color. Many do not attach much importance to this, but in fact, color often plays a greater role than the shape of the crosshair. Speaking about color, two important things can be distinguished. First, how the color of crosshair will contrast with the outline of your opponents, and second, the way it will contrast with the game world. The first problem is easy to solve. You just open the contrast palette and see what color is contrasting with your stroke color. For example, I play with a purple stroke. So so I need to get some kind of yellow-orange color, but this is where the problem begins, because orange is combined with map elements in many places and starts to get lost because of this, and this doesn't suit us. Then how to solve the second problem? Of course, you can put a separate color for each map, for example, we have cold tones on icebox and warmer ones on heaven, it is logical to put different colors, but it is too annoying for me, so there is a universal, most contrasting color for all maps. And this color color is initially in the game, it's blue color, but the custom 00B5FF is even better. It is similar to the default one, but it is a little brighter, so you can use it if you don't know which one to choose. And of course, I understand that all color depends on the color rendering of the monitor, on the matrix and so on so on, but here I can only give you a small advice and you need to try and choose something for yourself. Another important setting is to see crosshair of other players, it can again be useful if you accidentally see a crosshair of your teammate which as it turns out suits you just perfectly. In this case you just need to write in chat slash cc and the crosshair will go to your profile. By the way many still didn't know about this feature. Next adjust your aim down sides. Here the rule is simple. You will shoot with zoom at long distances. Most likely you will try to tap your enemies so I advise you to put something small, always thin, so you can better see the already small head of the opponent model. It is especially important to say this if you're playing with the thick crosshairs or crosshairs that have a large gap in the middle. And finally the sniper scope. In general you can set any color here, but it does not affect so much. The main thing is not to distract yourself with it. The size of dot doesn't really matter either, because if you're shooting after strafe, it usually happens so fast that you won't have time to notice the appearance of this dot. Maybe if you play at a little bit lower level, then yes, this dot will help you to understand when you're completely stopped and your shot will be accurate, but in general do not worry about this dot and its color. Now let's move on to the top 10 crosshairs, all codes will be in the description of the video. First slim crosshair, a thin crosshair is convenient when it is long, because due to the thinness one way or another it can get a little lost. I use either a completely shifted version of it or a slightly extended one. As a rule if the map is close range then this is the second option. Next thin with a stroke, in this case it can be short because the stroke makes it highly visible. Again, you can expand this crosshair as you wish. If you make a smaller gap, you get Nuts crosshair, but it looks different for Nuts because of the different monitor resolution. If you increase this gap, then here is Asuna's crosshair. Third, the only dynamic crosshair in Valorant that I like. I made it by using the example of Simple's crosshair from Counter-Strike, it is very convenient to play with it, but it is very lost, especially against the background of the sky. It becomes not visible at all, this is a big problem. and changing 
changing the color is not an option for me. Other than that, the scope is one of my favorites. I especially disliked him on Breeze, because in this place he was completely lost, but Breeze was removed, so now it doesn't interfere. Number 4. Dot. Just a square dot, not the thinnest, but not very thick either. And here there are several branches, for example, you can make a round dot, it all depends on convenience, I don't really like it. If you want a small crosshair but not a dot, you can put something like this. Again, all codes are in the description of this video. Number 5. For some reason this crosshair is called cool by me. It's a sense lies in the fact that you can only make a crosshair of this thickness in black, because a stroke is used to achieve this thickness. It turns out to be a pretty nice and comfortable crosshair, plus black crosshair of this thickness is quite clearly visible everywhere. Number 6. I call this crosshair 1422. This is a tensest crosshair, already a classic one might say. Sometimes I like to make a bigger gap from 2 to 3, but this is already a matter of taste. Otherwise, this is the most default and suitable for all occasions crosshair. Number 7. Some time ago, Riot added the ability to zoom in parts of the crosshair separately from each other, so now you don't need to set 4x3 resolution to make such a crosshair. And even more, you can make it just as slightly blurry by turning on inner lights. Number 8. This crosshair is associated with Yay. It is also a fairly versatile crosshair and it's suitable for all guns. As for me, it is convenient to tap with it and spray is quite comfortable as well. It is not too large, but it is not iceable. It is not getting lost. In general, this is probably my favorite crosshair. Number 9. Three crosshairs with a stroke on the one hand are always very well visible, on the other hand, they're too big. Only the transparency of the fill saves them. This fill will more or less adapt to the color of where you're aiming at, and in the rest you'll have only black lines, which in general is already quite convenient. And number 10, it's finally a round crosshair. With it, surprisingly, it is quite convenient to spray. Surprisingly, because there are no long lines, they don't exist at all, it is a circle. But here it is better to try it yourself and make sure that this crosshair is really cool. Cool. I would also like to recommend you this website. There are many crosshairs that you can copy, plus they're immediately visible, so it will be convenient to choose one of them for you. There is also a crosshair generator, so as not to enter the game, the convenience is that the crosshair is shown against the background of different maps. So in general, it is a very convenient website. Well, that's all for me, I hope you like this video, share it with your friends, thank you very much for watching to the end, see you soon, bye bye.